Northwest New Jersey, Rockland, Northern Westchester, and beyond. For the city and the coast, we think there could be a slushy two or three inches before a changeover takes place sometime later on tomorrow morning. We'll have a complete look at this upcoming st uh, storm in just a little bit. Mary, Marvin? Okay, Joe, we'll see you later. LaGuardia Airport is apparently a victim of its own success. Marvin's Joe Chaffee. All right, folks, it's decision time here, and we have to figure this all out with a storm that will be passing by to our east. Normally, this would be a no-brainer with respect to snow, except that we have just a limited amount of cold air, so that's going to put the rain-snow line in a very tenuous position. And if we are, for whatever reason, underestimating the amount of cold air that's around, maybe there's just enough that it could get drawn down a bit, and then we have to shift these numbers southward. But right now, I feel pretty comfortable with the idea that... Tomorrow morning during the rush hour drive, we'll be putting down some snow, and there could be a slushy two to three inches around the city, western Long Island perhaps, and then on northward. But notice, you don't have to go very far at all, just west of, say, uh, the Garden State Parkway and then Route 78. In that corridor on northward, you folks are going to see some bigger snow amounts on the order of six to eight inches. And then in northwest New Jersey, Sussex County, Warren County, uh, there could be as much as 8 to 12, and that will extend throughout much of Rockland County, northern Westchester, Putnam and Orange, and into Connecticut. But we want to emphasize here, folks, this rain-snow line thing could be very, very tricky. If for whatever reason it gets hung up, uh, we could have uh, perhaps greater problems a little bit further to the south. Right now on the radar, there really isn't too much of concern, although we're starting to see precipitation breaking out in eastern Virginia, western, eastern North Carolina. This is where our storm is starting out from and will be moving up the east coast. But for the time being, actually for much of the tri-state area, skies have cleared out and that has helped temperatures come down a couple of degrees. And in this kind of instance, one degree or two degrees here or there could make a huge difference. Some light snows up to the north, that's with a northern system that's coming through and that's not really having any, any impact on us at all with respect to what we're going to have to deal with. White Plains at 28 and over at 22, right around the city temperatures are in the middle 30s. The winds are, are not much, that's why wind chills and temperatures are running pretty even here uh, with respect to those numbers. Today, not bad folks, we were cold but not too bad, high of 37, a low of 24, very close to the normals of 38 and 25, 68 the record high, zero the record low back in 1918. Okay, after this is all done, we're going to get a break because the jet stream pattern across the United States will carve out a trough here in the west and build a little bit of a ridge here in the east and that means that cold air stays up in Canada for the most part. So we could see temperatures running above normal from midweek on. We'll see how that plays. Meanwhile tonight, folks, thickening cloud cover. Uh, that's our forecast. First off, the temperatures outside right now at Central Park. Uh, we have 37, 76% humidity, a slight south wind and a wind chill of 32. Now for tonight, clouds increase with snow arriving late, 28 to 34. Tomorrow, snow that'll change to rain at the coast, two inches or less on Long Island, two to three in the city, six to 12 inland, 30s all day. And on the extended forecast, uh, we're looking at the drier weather coming in on Tuesday. And then notice those temperatures going up mm. by the end of the week. Is it my imagination, or have we had more snow this winter so far than we had the past year? Not your imagination, Marvin. No, we actually have. We're running at about 22 inches so far. The normal for the whole winter, which includes uh, February, March, and April, is about 30. Wow. Okay. Right. Thank Thanks, you, Joe. Jim. All right, it's Sean's turn, and uh, the Knicks had a nice...